Hey everybody, welcome back on this extremely buggy day up here in Maine. So, yeah, all right, today we're going to be talking a pistol. Not this one. This one here is a 44 Magnum, right? Doesn't need a whole lot of explanation. Shoots this big old honking bullet right here. So, what do we have before we had the old 44 Magnum? We had the Colt 1860 Army. So, this also is 44, except for it does not shoot. 44 Magnum, it shoots a 44 caliber, or more specifically a 454 caliber red uh, lead ball. Red ball, I'm seeing it's red with all these flies. So uh, I've got some videos out. We'll put the links in the description down below for the loading of this, the little bit of the history of this. This was also one of the first videos we put together. Uh, little things like the naval battle depicted there. This is an 1860 Army. Uh, the fact that that's your rear sight right there uh in the hammer so uh yeah kind of we're gonna find out today we're gonna answer a few questions we're gonna find out uh how feasible it was for guys to get in a, a gunfight with these things right and draw these things in quick fire and i got a body silhouette down there we're just gonna do some point shooting with we're gonna do a little bit of accuracy testing with it uh i'm gonna shoot everything from an apple to I'm also rather curious, all right, I've got this old flask here, something probably people would have carried in the 1800s, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and strap, uh, this is full of food color and water, we're gonna strap it to a container and see if this would have saved somebody's life. Let's say they're riding in a, in a cavalry charge and they catch a, a ball from one of these, is it gonna keep them safe? Something else that probably would have been, uh, would have been, something that would have been carried back then, something like a, a Bible or this is, I guess, a missal. Uh, I'm not a Catholic, so not super, super familiar with them, but look at these pages, right? They're really, really dense pages. So we're going to see what this guy here does. This is one I found at the dump, so I, I love to use these old books like this and test. So something that we would have found back in that period, I'm guessing. And uh, we'll see. We'll just stop a 44 caliber ball from this. So we're going to put some of that stuff to the test. If that sounds good, please stick around and join us. Like and subscribe to comment if you enjoy it as much as we enjoy putting it together for you. We're going to brave these... Uh, black flies today and bug season and uh put this thing through its paces and see what we get so we'll see you on the range Alrighty, so we're just gonna go from the hip and come up and shoot real quick at this and kind of see how feasible it is and if we actually get remotely close to uh, uh wounding or killing shot all right we'll try one more All right, let's go see if we can see where we hit him. <laughs> and just coming up really quick, we got one here and one here. So I would say he would be hurting. So, all right, well, let's take a step back a little bit further and see if we can't put some shots up here with both hands. Okay, here we are going for those headshots. We're about 24 yards out. All right, we'll go check it out. Alrighty guys, so here we go. We're all loaded up, 44 caliber balls, flask full of goodness. Would this guy be safe? Go ahead and leave it in the comments if you want to. Did it stop it or didn't it? I don't know. Come on up, let's have a look. Dang on, she stopped it. That is one lucky dude. She stopped it. I'm thinking he was hurting bad. Alrighty, point blank range guys. Let's see what she does. Still didn't go through it. So these things didn't really have a lot of knockdown power. I don't know if you can see that or not. I mean, it's definitely weeping from around the top a little bit, that seam, but 
That's a heck of a divot. But I'd say in about 1860, if a trooper was on his horse, happened to have a flask of the good stuff, probably would have saved his life. One of those instances when drinking would have saved your life, I guess. Okay, now we're gonna do pretty much the same thing from the same range. So for this time, instead of drinker, we got a man with a cloth. All right, let's see what we got. She hit low. Near as I can tell, it's still in there. Let's reset and uh, let's hit it again. And then we'll pull both. We'll pull the book off, and we'll do both of them. So we'll try that. All right, guys. Almost point blank range. That was a good center hit. I can actually see pieces of the lead ball right in the surface of the book. Gotta love those microtechs. That milk jug is in fine shape. Yeah, look at that, both of them. Just inside of the front cover. Whoop, there goes the, the other camera. Oh. And, uh, the reality is that was a good that was a standard grains of powder too there's 24 grains of powder but yeah trap both of them right there just inside of the book I mean, you can tell it bruised the book up pretty good but uh you'd have been pretty safe you'd have been all right Alrighty, so here we go. This time we're gonna just shoot the jug with absolutely nothing on it. All right. A couple of decent hits. I mean, it's not a modern gun that's gonna blow it. You can see both hits are that close together both right there uh, and they both exited right about the same spot so yeah nothing in there so through and through hits obviously you're shooting round balls here so no hollow points no modern propellants 24 grains of black powder and uh, this is what you get I mean pretty humane as far as weapons go but I would imagine they would have been pretty destructive back in the day uh, let's see if we can't tag an apple with this. Do a little bit of uh, accuracy testing, huh? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna uh, see if we can't pull one and tell here and hit this apple. Show a little accuracy testing if I can. Eh, I think I grazed it. Maybe a little low. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, so as you can see, picked this up off the ground. They actually do do a, a decent amount of damage. Uh, obviously, it's got enough, you know, to punch through that milk jug. So, I mean, this is not a modern firearm. So, you know, that 45 caliber, 44 caliber, 454 bullets, are really 45 caliber, you know, with a 24 throw of uh, 24 grains of black powder, uh, really does a significant amount. Uh, I can only imagine that probably the battlefield injuries of that day, you hear of a lot worse injuries than we even get with modern day weapons. I would assume because, you know, you get those lead balls trapped inside of the body and they, they can probably do some significant damage, I would figure. I can also see why more people probably didn't die with duels and things like that. Because when we think of a modern day 44 Magnum versus this, uh, I don't know. If you got any experience with the older firearms, uh, older weaponry, uh, black powder, you know, whatever, 18, you know, whether it's 1860 Army or the old uh, 1851s and Navy models, whatever, uh, please chime in the comments. Let me know what you think. So anyway, uh, it's always nice to have you guys along. Uh, always love to have you on these adventures. I don't know how much more of this we can take because these bugs are just atrocious today. Looks like a plague out here. But anyway, thank you again for being with us. Like and subscribe if you enjoy our content and you want to keep on seeing these videos. Helps us immensely with the more subscribers that we get. So until next time, you guys have a good one and we'll see you then. Bye now.
Does that look good? I like it.